Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chriselle, and today we're continuing on with Subnautica Below Zero. Now, this is part number seven, so if you haven't watched previous episodes, or if you can watch those ones first, I'll actually leave the full playlist link for this playthrough down in the description box, and I'm also showing some down there as well. All right, so last time we had spent the majority of the time kind of going around and exploring the lily pad area, revisiting some of the areas that we had missed previously. So today I'm kind of thinking that the main goal is going to be to try and find the copper site, because I think that that's the last base that we haven't found yet. It's supposed to be kind of close to Delta, so I'm kind of thinking that we can go there, deactivate the tower, and I would also really like to go and revisit the tree spiral area. Maybe we also try to venture into the purple caves today at least a little bit. So yeah, there's a lot of things. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to do all of it, but that's kind of what I'm thinking to start out. So yes, anyways, as always, of course, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and give a thumbs up if you're liking it helps me a lot, but otherwise, let's just go and get started. We are back in it. I'm so glad that we moved that thing all the way over there. It's so nice and quiet now. Before we go over to Kappa, I kind of wanted to craft all of this if possible. I think maybe the only one I can't do is the prawn suit thermal reactor because I don't know if we have enough kyanite for it but i feel like we should at least be able to make some of these other things such as the base prawn suit and its add-ons so let's make the prawn suit depth module mk1 i might have to make the actual prawn suit outside i'm not sure at the mobile vehicle station thing or maybe in the moon pool not entirely positive okay so i just made mk1 prawn suit grappling arm and then the drill arm i'm gonna make the storage module okay so we technically do have enough kyanite for the prawn suit thermal reactor but i'm worried that we might need it for something else i just don't know what? It doesn't necessarily look like we need it for the architect components yet, but we also haven't finished getting the organs, which I assume we're gonna do today, hopefully at least, so we might need it for that. That one is just for recharging the power cells in hot areas, which is definitely really useful, but I feel like just to start out, I can probably just carry extra power cells, I guess. I'm not super worried about it for now, so let's just go up and make the actual prawn suit first. I'm very excited. I feel like I probably should have made this way earlier, but you know, it is what what it is, I guess. Wow, look at it, so cool. We haven't gotten too many things for it, so I'm not entirely sure what these ones are for. I guess for the thermal thing. All right, wow, different voice. Pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Nice. I am really glad that we've got the moon pool already made for this, though I still haven't made the mobile vehicle docking thing mobile for it. And I think as well, this crush depth, only MK1. Then I feel like the grappling arm and then the drill arm is what's really gonna be helpful. Okay, just really quickly, I do want to set aside the ingredients for the architect skeleton, just because we do already have the ones for the tissues in here. So I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna accidentally use up some of like these types of ingredients like the polyanenaline because I'm not entirely sure still when we're gonna be able to make those. I'm assuming we have to find some sort of architect fabricator somewhere, which I'm assuming once we have all of the pieces that maybe Alan will then tell us where that is or hint to it. I'm not sure. So for now, we'll put it in here and then eventually I'll probably just kind of bring it around on my ship, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna try and make the vehicle upgrade console now. I guess we'll just put it right here. I don't think it really matters what side it's on. Oh yeah, and then we get to name this one as well, huh? We shall name this one Gala Chad. I think I'm gonna do relatively the same sort of color palette as before. Just a little purple. So I think on here, yeah, if it's the same as the first game, vehicle upgrade console, so you get its own little fabricator thing here. But I think this is just the same stuff that you can do as a regular fabricator. So I'm not too worried about it for now. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to unlock more of those things later. Something that I cannot make there though is the docking module for the sea truck, which I feel like now is the perfect time to finally make that. Especially because I feel like I'm probably not gonna end up carrying the sleeping module with me. Maybe I think it will be quite useful to be able to bring Mon suit in a little bit more of a convenient way. I could probably just go there with a prawn suit on its own, but I just kind of feel like because it can't go down as deep, it makes me a little bit more worried about doing it that way. So I really hope that it doesn't end up slowing this down too, too much though. How do I go just run into it? Okay, that works. Nice, very good. I wonder if I could go here. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, very nice. And you can see it's still connected on there as well. Oh, what is this? Eject docked vehicle. Oh. Right, okay, so this was the map. So we've done pretty much all of these. This is Delta, Outpost Zero, and then last time we did Omega. We've technically done part of five, but not this left part here. So we'll probably do that next time, maybe. But this one is the one we're going to today. So it was Kappa Mining Site, Material Excavations, right beside Delta. So I feel like 
like it shouldn't be too hard to find, at least in theory. So we'll go ahead and head on over to the dock first. I'm kind of thinking that Kappa is probably just literally in the thermal sort of area because that's kind of like the one place I haven't gone yet. But I wanted to do Midas thing first just before I forget about it. Right here we are. Yeah, so I've already grabbed all the PDAs and stuff around here because we had visited this at the very, very beginning. We can at least now finally finish this off. So we've got the PDA that was here. So connect the test override module. Very good. I wasn't sure if I was going to need more than one, but it seems like this is fine. Great. Very good. Now back to the terminal. The terminal? What terminal? What do you mean by that? Oh, maybe that was just the terminal at the bottom here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Your test mode. Sure. Do it. Please work. Wow. Pirate radio disable Altera communication. Wow. Cool. Okay. Oh. Yes. Satellite is down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, is that good that it will back up? Oh. That was most resourceful. That's active, broadcasting all clear. I don't know if I'm supposed to go and revisit Maida then, or... Oh, Maida's calling. All my right, wife. Altera, you win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. <gasps> I have a present for you. Oh! I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> Sure, whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. We found the greenhouse by accident already. Uh, what day was that on? Oh, I forget. It was the one that was like something in exploring. Because I basically went around in an entire circle around <laughs> where the mercury actually was. Didn't we literally put a marker down as well somewhere? Or here, here, this one, this one, greenhouse. That's great. Because that means I don't necessarily have to like try and find it, find it. We'll probably do that next time. It's just really far away and I kind of wanted to get some stuff done today but I'm glad to have been able to progress that and that I don't even have to necessarily work too hard in order to complete it maybe so I think we technically need to go to the right over to this point that's kind of perfect honestly because I feel like as well just from looking at it these two look like they're under delta so I imagine that we'll probably be able to find both of those just by going to Kappa okay so we need to go towards Phi but then a little over it could just be that that it's literally in the thermals. I'm not sure. It's a little divot right here. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna dip in here. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god, please don't cook me. I'll just be really careful for sure. Oh, that's a little less careful. What is that? Well, maybe this is where I'm meant to go, actually. Oh my. Okay, yeah, this is probably the area. This isn't even blocked in by I could just bring my truck. Oh wow, this is a big place. Okay, alright, very good. Do you think I can fit in there? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I wonder where I should put in here even. Like, maybe a beacon. We could put the quantum lock. This is actually a lot of storage just for bronze suit. That's better than I thought it was going to be. I actually thought it was only going to be like maybe four to six slots. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm going to save before we go in just in case. Because I'm just really not entirely sure what's going to be in here. Oh, unless maybe it's mostly just going to be for PDAs and such. There's copper and stuff in here as well, which is nice. Another door here. I wonder if I can open it. I feel like probably not. <laughs> All right, let's just explore a little bit. Rock and grub there. Oh, there's a data box here. Might also just be easier to swim around a little bit. What is it for? Oh, I missed it, but we have whatever it is apparently. You got anything else for me? What is down here? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I think we just gotta head down then, I suppose. Oh, there's a big thing of titanite right there. I'll probably just slow float all the way down, I suppose. We're going down pretty far though. Mm. Oh, we can actually go to 700 on this. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> I didn't even see him there. Oh my goodness. Look, I ain't trying to cross on your territory, okay? I'm just looking for PDAs and such. Whoa. Oh yeah, so it is kind of in the thermals as well. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that I had waited just because I feel like I wouldn't have been able to go down here if I came here earlier. What is this one? Thermal plant fragment? Oh, we already have that one. Should probably just bring the prawn suit all the way down, but I feel like it's kind of awkward, honestly, trying to drive it. I'm just gonna try and scan the things that I can 
can see. Oh, it goes all the way over there as well, huh? Thermal plant fragment. We have that one too. I wonder if we're even gonna be able to find much new stuff, at least for, yeah, this one we've already got as well. I'm just gonna scan to get rid of it so I don't have to keep double checking it. We might not even be able to find any new things for fragments or maybe not much. Okay, I'll just get back in my prawn suit then. I was thinking there was gonna be a little bit more. Okay, all right, let's see what we've got in here. What are they making? Well, I guess they're mostly just mining. Is this gold? What is that? Yeah, it is gold, okay. I like that the little shrimps are there as well. Oh, this is a drill arm, we have that. Oh, is this ruby? Wow, that's a lot of ruby. I don't know if you even need that much ruby, but it's nice that it's there. Oh, there's a PDA over here. Altera. Aurora wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Aurora? Oh, uh, was Aurora the one from the first game? I think, right? Why does that sound so familiar? Sorry, it's been a while since we played that one, so I'm a little bit hazy still on the details. Wow, that goes down even farther over there, huh? Oh, God. Okay. What was this one? I, I need to read it before I click on it. We had it already, whatever it was. I love the little shrimpy guys. So I feel like this probably would have been a really good area to get the prawn suit fragments because there's quite a few around but it's also like you would need it in order to get down here so well I guess it's only 270-ish here so maybe not. You could probably get through with like a booty breather and a couple of tanks maybe. I'm just a little too skittish for that. <laughs> just gonna go around and check all the boxes and stuff before I move on to the next little area. Wow look at this guy. He's just eating away. <gasps> I forgot he doesn't like me. <laughs> I was just observing, okay? <laughs> you don't gotta be so mad. I am not a rock, buddy. A little PDA over here. Logs and communications, mining site delivery. Oh, and then a builder fragment here as well. We have that. Copper wire, I'll always take. More prawn suit drill, we have that. Prawn suit jump jet upgrade. New technology acquired. I feel like once you have the grapple arm, it's not as necessary maybe, but it will probably help me just get around faster. Alrighty, we're just gonna follow along this line, I think. Oh, I do kind of wonder- Oh, this thing is over here though, which does not follow the line. Oh, this is pretty. Kind of reminds me of the statue that we found before. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's different. I don't remember. Architect artifact? Alien statue. Maybe this is different. I was thinking of the one that Alan was kind of saying is a place of respite or whatever. Z truck teleportation module? Whoa. Technology acquired. What does that mean? Teleportation. That's kind of cool. Tether tool. What is that? Creature egg. Have I already gotten one of these? I feel like I probably have, but I'll pick it up anyway. It's kind of hard to tell in the dark. Oh, maybe these are the eggs for the rock crusher guys. I wonder if it would break out of the tank. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Okay, yeah, this doesn't go anywhere further. For some reason, I thought it maybe it would lead to a further path, but I guess that's it. Okay, first of all, let's do mining site delivery. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'd ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. Scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Okay. <laughs> All right, weird vibes, for sure. I wonder how many workers there were down there then? Oh, this one I was curious about, actually. Aurora wreckage location. And survivors confirmed. Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from trade ship Sunbeam. Oh yeah, we talked about Sunbeam last time because I was kind of confused about if Sunbeam was Mercury because I couldn't remember the name. But Sunbeam was the one that came in to rescue us actually and then ended up crashing because of the big gun. Right, so Sunbeam which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> yeah, exactly what I said, sorry. Hey Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took static survivors. We're moving in for a close Look. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the state of the ship, it is now known that she has landed with her hull largely intact on planet 4546b. Smaller than Earth and largely waterbound, it's thought that the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. Huh? The Sunbeam is a registered five-seater cargo vessel, insufficient to excavate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment is secure. There's at least one month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket, which could be constructed using materials salvaged from the Aurora. If the crew could begin their long journey home now, the rescue team would meet 
them halfway, shaving months off their return. Ulterior share prices rose to their quarterly high on the news. Wait, so I'm confused because the Sunbeam didn't land for our SOS? Because the whole reason that the Aurora crashed is because it was already, the planet was already in lockdown because the gun was activated, right? So I'm confused on that. Maybe they were literally just lying about it or maybe I have a terrible memory and I'm misremembering something or misinterpreting something here. I don't know. Okay, so then alien statue, unknown origin, assembled with precision out of a block of pure copper ore, appears to represent a creature of some sort and resemble the centaurs of ancient Greek mythology. Several theories have been posited. The statue could serve as a cultural marker, denoting the presence or authority of a particular race or subgroup of intelligent alien race, possible religious artifact depicting a deity or otherwise noteworthy figure, or artistic expression, invented form, representing imaginative thought. I actually kind of wonder if this is just what architects look like, or maybe the leader of the architects, I'm not really sure. Because of how when Alan does talk to us and he gives us his little face symbol, the purplish thing, kind of is in this shape. And then we already know that the architects are supposed to be super big and tall and strong. Like maybe it's just supposed to represent the architect peoples as a whole. Okay, and then vehicles. Oh yeah, the sea truck teleportation module. Harnessing the power generated by ion cubes, the teleportation module creates an interminable, interminable between a tether tool and itself. While away from the module, navigating space and time is made simple by activating said tool, allowing the user to return to the module in a blink of an eye. How the ion cube facilitates the rapid disassembly and reassembly of organic material in a target location is still the subject of great debate in the scientific community. This module is powered by the sea truck's main cabin, requires tether tool. The link between tether and module is unaffected by distance. Oh, that could be so useful. Because imagine like you would go down as far as you want and then if you end up being in danger or something like that or just running out of oxygen, you could just teleport immediately back to your sea truck. Is that how it works? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I guess as well, it's kind of, is it teleporting me to my sea truck or is it teleporting my sea truck to a place? Like maybe back to my home base or something. It kind of seemed like maybe it's teleporting me though. <laughs> we just have to try and make it and find out, but that's really cool. I like that. Okay, well, I'll pin this one so I don't forget. Oh, you need aero gel for this one. I was wondering when we were gonna need that. So we got the gel sack really early on. Not the little like purple plant thing. So I've been growing some of that. That shouldn't be too hard to make, I think. What else did we get? Oh yeah, tether tool. What is this one? Teleport to nearby sea truck teleportation module. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess that answers my question. Okay, so I probably carry the tether tool and then it teleports me back to the sea truck. Got it, got it. Alrighty, I think that was maybe it for what we got. Very good. I'm very happy that we came and found that over here. Right, so now we're gonna keep following along this thing. It's gonna kind of double check on the sides in case there's any little things like this one. Never mind, we've already got that one apparently. Oh, hold on. I see PDA here. Was unexplained ion signature linked to Aurora's disappearance. Ooh. And then this one, I forgot to read it again. Oh, new one. Headlamp. That could be very nice. Okay, and then this goes even deeper. Here, huh? Looks like the other artifact is over there, so maybe we can go there. Maybe we'll loop around. Not sure how deep this area goes. Wait, but then there's purple crystals there. Does that loop to the purple crystals, or is that farther than I'm thinking it is? Oh, very interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let me bring this guy all the way over here. Actually, can we read that thing first before I forget? Just because I'm not sure where this is all going to lead to. Okay, so was unexplained ion signature linked to the Aurora's disappearance? An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera space as scientists baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora's reported crash landing. How the two might be connected is an open question, and many in the scientific community maintain that they are unrelated and explained by natural phenomena or even Altera secretly testing new technologies. Fuel has been added to the fire by Altera's refusal to release its full data on the Aurora accident. Recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their list of expected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. It's now been months since the sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546. Oh, okay, so that kind of answers my question as to before why I was so confused. Okay, interesting. I don't know, I mean Altera just seems kind of sus all the time, don't they? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, and then we got the headlamp. You need an ion battery for that? Oh my god. All environment head-mounted light source. That could be so nice though. It might be worth it. I'm not sure how thorough I should be in terms of like checking all of the corners and stuff. Does this go somewhere? Maybe not. Okay. And then I probably can't scan anything over here either, huh? I guess just being able to see how many prawn seats and stuff that there is though as well kind of helps to show just how many workers were down here in the first place though. Oh, actually, can I go up here? Kind of looks like there's stuff there. Oh, well, maybe this is literally just ore, like to collect ore that's fallen down. Maybe then I can go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is where we were before when I kind of passed through. I mean, maybe not this exact spot, but when we passed through before. Oh, yeah, maybe because there's this thing here. So that's probably for in case if you come in from the thermals, which makes sense because you're more likely to be exploring there rather than going all the way around the other side of Delta or whatever, at least at the very beginning, right? All right, great. I think that maybe is it then. I almost expected it to be even a bigger area than it was. I mean, it was pretty big, but there was less things to gather than I thought but also maybe that's literally just because I had already gotten most of the things you know well I'm glad that we made the trip regardless just for the PDAs like I'm always happy to get the little story PDAs and stuff to be able to learn more about what happened and the different people and such as well as obviously for the little alien piece as well so we can just go on here very good nice so where should I be heading now I'm gonna go over here we're gonna follow the boxes backwards and see if I can find that artifact maybe it might also be one of these things where it's like really far away or something oh my god it's so empty over here it's kind of scary I'm hearing so many noise and I'm trying to be not freaked out by it because I feel like it's just the regular slashy little guys but I'm honestly not sure so I'm just not gonna look you know it's fine oh wait this is the tree spires oh <laughs> okay okay so maybe it'll all just loops together anyways that's kind of great actually because i was wanting to come back over to where the tree spires were uh <laughs> what the hell is that thing oh actually wait wasn't it um oh i forget the name i'm probably not gonna be able to find it there was the junior version of the jellyfish thing we found one of them above the first part of the mercury or maybe it was the smaller wreck we had found that and we had scanned it and it basically said that it was like an anchoring jellyfish or something like that vent garden that's what they were and i remember i kind of made a comment about like oh these are the small ones what is the sound what is it oh no is that a chelicerate no. <laughs> Good to know. Maybe we'll just save just in case. I'm just gonna pop out because I want to see if I can, yeah, if I can scan this. Tornado plates. Okay. Kind of cool. I'm gonna be a little bit wary of that guy up there. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with inner cage surrounding by swirling gyton structure. The mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. Okay. I didn't necessarily mean to read that. I just kind of wanted to swap to a repair thing in here and also just to drop a beacon. Big jelly garden. I don't know what to call that. And I also just wanted to see if I could cut these, but maybe I cannot. This is so spooky how like, you can barely see the shadow of him up there. Oh my god. Oh yeah, actually there's one of the smaller vent garden things. I mean, it's just that this one is huge. All right, well, I'm just gonna bring this truck all the way down here because I can. Oh. oh, you guys are here. Life that grows within. That's so cool. I would like to scan you, please. Hopefully this brute shark doesn't mind me being here. What is this? Hold on, let me scan you. Vent garden. Can I go in there? Oh my god, you can. Am I gonna die? Maybe. But I saved, so... Holy shit. Can you come in here? I think he's kind of like clipping through, but I don't think he's supposed to be able to come here. Oh my god, that's a little spooky, man. This is so cool. Holy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy old pal. Wow, look at this. Oh, wow. Well, I can't scan it or anything, though. What happens if I cut it? Are you gonna attack me? Implode on yourself? Oh, there's a spiral plant in here. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there's breathing, too. Can you scan this? Maybe not. Very interesting. Not what I expected at all. What a weird thing to fucking experience. Okay. Looks like you can go down deeper here as well. I wonder if this goes to the tree spires that we're with made of. Maybe it's something like deep tree spires or something like that, you know? Thermal plant. Oh, we have both of those already. I wonder if there's two. Oh, there's a thing there. I wonder if this is literally, because I spotted it from a distance last time. I wonder if that's literally the thing that I was looking for. Okay, okay. Okay, before we do that though i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna be able to fit this all the way down but it's quite spacious so maybe it's fine this is so cool i love how it all loops that's very interesting to me there's a lot of pieces here but i feel like all of these things i probably already have thermal plant thermal plant yeah i'm just gonna leave those there's just so many of them that it's like i don't really want to pick them all up hooked a discus fish oh <laughs> No. Oh no, they're all cooked. Oh no, a discus fish. 
leash. <laughs> okay, well, I don't really need him, so I'm just gonna let him go. <laughs> Poor little lads. I'm just gonna bring my prawn suit over here instead, because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier than trying to navigate my sea truck just all the way over here. Booster tank. I think we already have this one. Yeah, so just tight nine. Okay. This is quite a good place for materials, though. Like, there's lithium, there's ruby, there's the uranium night or whatever it was called. Pretty nice. Oh, these look like they've been sabotaged purposefully, maybe. I mean, obviously, it's probably Mida. Logs and communications? My Marguerite Mida is log number one. Okay. Seems like that's kind of it here. I thought there would be more, but maybe it's just because we've already gotten a lot of the things. Yeah, we got another Mida log last time, but I don't entirely remember what it was. It'll probably be right beside this. Oh, we got number two. Okay. So Marguerite Midas log number one. There I was, 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, mm. but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. <laughs> oh, God. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void. Just me and ocean. Nothing else. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I should have just came and picked this up last time. I thought this was going to be like quite a large area. And maybe it still is bigger than I'm expecting, but at least so far, it seems like not as vast as I expected. Yeah, so we got the second one last time first, which basically just said that she did obviously survive and that she kind of survived by living in it a little bit and using its fat and whatever to burn etc. Very cool though. Oh yeah, and then we scan the vent garden, the big one. The garden is a stationary leviathan that anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior. Six tentacles anchor the vent garden to the seafloor around vents. Each tentacle is capped by a set of thick carved hooks that grow downwards, keeping the vent garden firmly in place. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate a human entry. The vent garden feeds on thermophilic bacteria and other microorganisms that spew from the vent below. The top of the bell also has an opening that continuously releases water to maintain consistent internal pressure. It houses six branching platforms that resemble coral. The platforms contain aquatic flora that remains safe from foraging herbivorous fish. In turn, the flora observe and synthesize some of the heavy metals and gases emitted by the vents below. Assessment docile nutrient rich harvest flora. I probably should have read this before I went in because maybe it would have just squished me as soon as I went in but you know it's fine. I figure that like the jellies don't seem to be super aggressive so, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad it just worked out, I suppose. Yeah, this area is way smaller than I expected because this is just a loop right here and then Mida's base was somewhere over there. Okay, I do want to go back over to Mida's base in a moment, but I'm just gonna come and poke my head out here. This is all seeming kind of empty, but I'm hoping that maybe it will dip down somewhere in order for me to find that last artifact. Over here, it seems to just drop off, so. Oh, that's a little bit worrying. Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. E Ooh, I don't know if I can fit all the way down there. I might actually just bring my prawn down there. I'm just a little scared to go down there without anything. <laughs> and I'm scared to get my truck stuck. It's actually working pretty well. There it is. Very good. So, shall I scan this one? Architect artifact. There we go. And then I can pick up Ion Cube and another Ion Cube. Very good. I'm also just going to pick up Lithium and such while we're down here since it's nice and convenient to do so. What a fantastic place for uh, just materials in general though. Alrighty, here we go. I don't really have nothing to say about that one either. I feel like this one looks very similar to one that we've gotten before though, so maybe that's why. Alright, I'm not sure what to do about that then because I feel like that was all of the artifacts that we had. I was kind of hoping that we got this one and then it would just unlock the final thing for us, but it didn't. This is still grayed out and I didn't get any new beacons and I didn't get a call from Alan either. All right, well, I guess we'll just head back on up then for now. All right, we're gonna 
go back over here then over to Midas base. I'm really hoping that this secret little room will be open or that she'll let us in now that we've done what she's asked. Who knows though? We'll see. Oh, unless she's not even here. Her prod suit's gone. Mm. Oh, it's locked. What do you mean? Oh man. <laughs> hey, maybe I've got to go and talk to her at the greenhouse first because then maybe she would come back here with me and unlock it. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. All right. Well, I guess I'll just head on out of here then. All right. I had to actually look it up because I could not find for the life of me where this thing was. Apparently I had missed an artifact in the lily pad area right here and it was very difficult to find and I'm a little bit annoyed because I kept circling around the little alien part when we were looking at the lily pad area and I just kept missing it because I kept taking the wrong turns. So here we are. I don't know if this will actually help to give us another Allen marker or not, but whatever this thing is, is potentially maybe the thing I need. Green life analyzer. Unless Alan has nothing to say about it and I wasted all my time doing that. I've been driving around for an hour, so I hope he has something to say about it, honestly. Container might have been used to graze small microbiomes for aquatic flora and fauna. Design indicates the following likely usage pattern. Weapon and snare of small fauna. Gather data on how various organisms responded to treatments in different environmental influences. Use multiple containers to run multiple experiments in parallel. All right, well, glad I found it now, but it seems like it still didn't unlock us a new alien artifact. So I'm not really sure what to do about that, honestly. All right, I'm just gonna stop back home for a moment because all of my pockets and storage is full and I kind of want to have at least a little bit of space if we're gonna go over to the purple crystal area. Just in case, if we want to grab some more kyanite cyanide thingies, I'm just gonna organize everything into my lockers really quickly as well. All right, so now we can make heather tool we can make right now. I gathered the materials just now in my pockets. Tool facilitates instant travel to a bed sea truck teleportation module ion cube required for use right yes because then we also need to make the actual module as well which we have to do that one outside i will make that battery because we actually have plenty i think to make that without having to worry too much since we were able to get some ion on that the trip just now comes with an advanced weather resistant strap that can withstand volcanic heat or a nice age blizzard a perpetual hands free light source in even the darkest environments wow yeah i think that will be very handy the only downside I'm realizing now is that, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to replace my rebreather in order to use it, which is probably not gonna end up being worth it, but you yeah, know. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that maybe when we were above ground, but then for above ground, we're probably gonna be in the cold, so then we'd probably want the other one anyways. But who knows? I mean, we could have it. I could just keep it in my sea truck, if anything. While we're at it, though, I should probably also make the reinforced dive suit, which I I think this is basically just the heat one. If I'll need it again, I don't know. It's because we kind of already went to the heat area and we didn't even really need it then. But maybe this will be good for endgame if it's hot down there. I don't even remember if it was or not. I mean, if not, then whatever. We can always recycle it if we really want to. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make the prawn suit thermal reactor because if we're going back to the crystal caves anyway, then we're bound to get some more. So there's not really any point in not having it. All right, so that just leaves probably last sea truck teleport module thing that we're gonna need. I probably won't end up making the aquarium one. I just don't think I need it to be honest. Didn't need to make the sleeper module one either, but you know. I was gonna think we might be able to recycle it, but I don't honestly know how to do that. I might not be able to, I'm not sure. I think I do have to take off the docking module first because I think this one has to go on last since it's got the prawn suit on it. There we go. Okay. Very good. Wow. Okay, so I'm guessing I need this thing. Okay, but then I'm wondering, does it use the ion cube every single time I teleport? Because <laughs> I was wanting to test it, but then now that I see it, I'm like, oh, I see. Maybe that works more so like ammo. So then maybe I should be bringing some in my sea truck with me? I guess it really just depends how many times you think you're gonna teleport. Oh, I actually have a couple in here already. So maybe that's fine. All right, we are finally back to the purple crystals. Here's our little beacon. I'm honestly not sure what to expect 
respect in here. I feel like there is surely a big leviathan in here because of just how big the area is, but I don't know for sure. I'm a little bit scared to be honest, but I did save just now, so hopefully it's okay. I'm kind of wondering if I should bring my whole truck down or not. Like maybe I should just bring my prawn suit? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make sure to bring my teleportation device. I'm honestly, what I'm worried about is, is it only gonna teleport me? Like if I bring my prawn suit with me, then in theory, maybe it wouldn't end up bringing everything, which is a little concerning. I'm not entirely sure where I'm trying to go. I'm assuming maybe looking for either Altera tech sites slash bases in general and or an Allen thing, perhaps. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try to like keep popping in and out though, just for scanning things maybe. I don't know how big this area is. Like it seems big, but it's kind of hard to tell really. I definitely want to keep my eye out for blue crystals, that's for sure, right? I remember last time I was in here, I felt like I heard a weird sound as well, but I don't know if it was actually a thing or maybe it was just part of the soundtrack. I don't know. What's this prawn suit? Torpedo arm. Okay, I don't have this one yet. Thank you. I'll gladly take that. I need two pieces for that one. Do I just go around on foot maybe? That's better. There might not even be anything in here, honestly. It's just the blue crystal thing freaks me out because that was end game for first game. I might have to bring the truck with me. I'm not sure. What? Oh, I um. Oh my. You, yeah, you don't fucking say PDA. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> for that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Just just uh, climb on the back. It's just like a whale, right? Harmless. It seems like whatever the glowy thing on the bottom is the thing that's trying to eat me. So maybe we're just little buddies, right? <laughs> okay. I do a PDA pause on in here because I was nervous. I kind of just want to read it. I mostly opened this to heal, but because now it's open on this, I don't want to accidentally lose it. So Shadow Leviathan. <laughs> this is a massive 60 meter plus Leviathan that appears to be the odd convergence of several Several evolutionary offshoots. Travel like head helps it slice through the water as it approaches its prey. Beneath its smooth skin is thick head plating that is used as a battering ram to ward off competing shadow leviathans during mating season. The legs are covered in a thick segmented exoskeleton similar to an arthropod. The leviathan's legs are used less for repulsion, which is left to its blade-like tail, more for hunting prey. The thick legs fold open over captured fauna like a cage, while the strong exoskeleton protects the tissue beneath from damage as the leviathan feeds. Bioluminescent digestive tract. His mouth leads directly to its digestive tract, which secretes a highly acidic compound onto captured prey. This bioluminescent cavity attracts light-seeking phytoplankton, which in turn draws in larger fish. Assessment extreme threat avoid at all costs. Oh good, I'm glad to hear that while I'm just floating on its back currently. That's good. Maybe I should have brought more med kits. <laughs> well, this is a little bit awkward, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And I feel like he's much faster than me. So who's gonna get over to Galachad first, huh? I wish you could actually ride on the back. That'd be so funny. Oh, he's pissed, bro. Oh my, he can flip over. It's all over, man. It is so over, holy shit. Oh my God. Um, okay, good to know. Yep, that's uh, worse than what I was expecting. <laughs> We're just gonna creep along. Do you think he left? I don't know, it's kind of quiet now, but I don't trust it. Oh, he's right there. He certainly did not leave, that's for sure. Yup, he's pissed, man. Do I know where my prawn suit is? Not at all. I think it's like above me somewhere. Oh my god, he looks cool though. Oh, there's another piece here. Oh, I already have this one. Oh, never mind. This is a prawn suit propulsion arm. I have the regular propulsion arm, but you know. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, I really, I really don't, I really don't know what to do about this. <laughs> I feel like you could technically fit in here, but I seem to be okay for now. Very ominous though. Okay, yep. Oh, maybe I'm not so safe down here. Yep, yep. Oh my, am I dead? Holy shit. What? <laughs> oh my God. 
I'm so glad that I saved all the way up here. <laughs> Probably don't need to, but he kind of just came out of nowhere so quickly. And I hope that it doesn't bother you guys that I reload the save instead of just dealing with my death. But honestly, enough for like 24 hours. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Um, I'm honestly not sure what to do differently though. Just kind of came out of nowhere, realizing very quickly why the torpedo arm might be useful. But yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe I should bring over my sea truck simply because I at least have that one defense sort of thing on it, but I don't know. Because the nice thing about the prawn suit at least is that I've got the grapple arm. I'm gonna save there just so that at least I've scanned those things. I just want some little blue crystals and maybe some markers, you know what I mean? Yoink one of these. Maybe I'll grab some magnetite while we're here and then we'll just keep on, keep on keeping on. A Leviathan class creature is near. Where? I'm glad it gave it to me much earlier this time. <laughs> I feel like I hear it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Do you think he sees me? Oh, he certainly does. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you think the drill arm would work? Maybe. I could try. Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. Prepare a little faster, please. Eddie, Eddie, your mouth faster would be good. I don't really know where I'm trying to go. So it's like, uh, I'm kind of a little lost. Try my best. I wonder what that is. Do you think I could scan that? This seems like a harder to reach area for him, though. But, well, maybe not that much. Huh? Okay, just drill, just keep drilling. <laughs> oh my god. As long as he leaves every time, then I think this is actually kind of doable. He does so much percentage that it's like, I don't really want to risk losing this. Yeah. A little spooky. I'm just getting this one. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, get in. Oh my god. All right, you know what? Maybe we just uh, take a peek and try to head down. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. <laughs> I mean, usually that's the correct answer, right? Just leave. Oh, I see a thing here. Do I need that? I'm not sure. Oh, torpedo arm. Yeah, we definitely need that one. Nice. I wonder if there's more than one. Surely not, right? I mean, technically his scan thing did say more than one for mating season. Let's just keep moving then, shall we? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, you're mad. You're mad. Oh, he did a little flip. So talented. <laughs> I'm realizing now as well, because we reset the save though, that I don't technically have the scan, but I might just have to live with that. I'm sure we'll get another chance. I'm not too, too worried about it for now. Grab that. We already have that one. Do we have this one as well? Yeah, okay. So we don't have to get him. Oh my god, spooky ass. Actually, I wonder if I leave the prawn suit. No, I can't. Never mind. I was wondering if I could leave the prawn suit while he's doing that and then I could scan. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I feel like at this point we're definitely looking for an Allen thing, right? Probably. Because I don't think Altero would put bases down here. I mean, I could be wrong, but also just because we don't have any Allen thing right now. So, okay, maybe those are the only arm pieces that are going to be down here. Maybe I just won't worry about it. This kind of looks like a path right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a little divot. Okay, just give me a moment. Let's pick this up. That kind of looks like it goes somewhere. I feel like it's going to be really easy for me to get lost in here. The only thing I can really think of is just keep going down. Or maybe that way. There's like a bridge here. I don't know if that means anything though. I am glad that he kind of goes away here and there. So he's not just on your ass the entire time. Because otherwise I just wouldn't be able to explore at all, you know? And that's no fun. Okay, let's just keep going this way. Because I feel like this looks like it goes deeper. Which in theory may be will lead me where I want to go. Where that is exactly, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this one's just floating in the air, okay. Maybe down there, or in there. Or it could be somewhere over there. Let's go this way. I saw this little divot in here, because it looks at least a little, <laughs> sorry, a little bit more protective. Oh, but we're at crush depth now. Oh, that's not great. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm, okay. We've got ourselves in quite a pickle. Maybe I should have brought the sea truck down because at least that can go all the way to 1K. Okay, let me grab. Do you think I have a safe moment? <gasps> oh, 
That's not. That's not what I meant to do. I thought I was pulling out my uh, my chest thing, um, to, just to put the, the crystals into. But um, I mean that works as well, I suppose. That was gonna be my next step. Okay, what I actually meant to do though was this. <laughs> oh, I don't even have that much space in here, do I? Okay, well then never mind. I'll take all of that out actually then, and then I'll put this into storage for safekeeping. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do disconnect the fabricator in storage because you do get markers for these which is quite nice because then at least i can just bring this and this one maybe because i'm gonna have to pick up my bronze suit at this point and at least this will be a bit faster in theory and this one has the little shocking thing as well as like the speeding and etc etc you know what i mean do i entirely remember where i was no but it seems like i'm over there somewhere i don't know how i got all the way over there i thought i was the right but apparently not yeah i hear you yeah see like even just the speeding thing is so nice and then can i oh can i shock you oh maybe i have to do it when i'm farther away oh i can climb out of here okay you know what can i scan you then finish that off later <laughs> i think the priority is probably just a repair oh cutting it close cutting it close <laughs> Okay. I wonder if he doesn't care if I'm not piling in it because he left right away. That's quite interesting, actually. Unless he's just making a big loop around or something. But that could also be a strategy, perhaps. Oh no, here he comes again. Oh, I could not dodge. I'm climbing out. I'm scanning you. I'm scanning you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, don't kill me though. Don't kill me though. I'm just a little guy though. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. And then get out so he doesn't want to do anything to your truck. Okay. That was a little spooky, but I think that strat kind of works. Okay, I do hear him. Here's that bridge. Oh. Oh my. That was much louder than usual, huh? Okay, what if I do. Oh! <gasps> it worked! Nice! Oh, he is so stunned. Oh, never mind. Not for very long. <laughs> I was gonna try and scan him again, but uh, maybe I won't risk it this time around. Okay, just go over and get your damn prawn suit, first of all. So I think what I needed to do is I needed to hit one and then left click, I think is what I did. And that seemed to work for whatever reason. Versus before, I was just pressing one because I didn't realize. Maybe I go down here. There's also a hole there, but I'm not sure. I take the prawn suit. Oh, I wonder though, okay, would the crush depth still count if it's it's docked on here. I'm not sure. That's a little risky if it is. Would it even tell me? I kind of feel like it might not. Though, where? Shock him. Hell yeah. Oh, that works so well. <laughs> okay, 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 nice. That's so much better than the uh, the drill arm, honestly. <laughs> okay, so now where are we? Is this a different biome again? Oh, <gasps> Is that kyanite? Hold on. Oh, but then will I even be able to drill this one? Because then this will be below crush depth. I just gotta be fast. We are crush depth thing. I'm gonna make sure to watch. Just get as much as you can. Quickly, quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I think we'll be good. I think we've got plenty of time. Drilling does take forever though, so it is getting a little low. Because I think even if I just do this one, maybe I won't have to worry about hopping in and out at all. Who knows? Okay, I think we're good. Quickly dock back on. Yeah, because that seems to stop it. Okay, cool. And then I can just repair it on here. Ooh, a little risky, but I think it is worth it. Especially because I feel like I really don't want to have to risk coming down here again. I did see another one just underneath us, so I'm just going to drill this one really quick as well. Just do the same thing. Yeah, that's actually super helpful. And then repair some more. We've got a lot of guy I now. Pop up. I'm glad that at least Shadow Boy doesn't seem to be coming down here at all, so that's appreciated. I don't know if this is necessarily where I'm meant to go though or not. I'm gonna leave a beacon. Let's just call it like greenish area because I don't know what this is. Just in case if I need to find my way out. Because I feel like we didn't really finish exploring the crystal stuff so I'm wondering if this goes to another area or maybe it's just like a really tiny pocket here. Because some of this... Hmm, I don't know actually. This looks different. I scan this. Poly cage. Interesting. What a strange looking plant. Can I cut that? No. Okay, I was thinking maybe I need it for like some weird crafting material. There's so much guide in here. Can go even deeper in here? Or is this just another pocket? Oh, odd. Very strange. What an 
odd little area. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what this area is for. I thought maybe this would lead even deeper, but it seems like not at all. I guess this is mostly just for gathering materials then. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. Well, he certainly found me immediately. <laughs> There's like a rock thing here. Is this where I was? Is this more of this green stuff here? Maybe I go this way since he's over here. So maybe that means where I also need to go is over here. <laughs> I don't know if I need to do anything different with the crystals on the top of the ceiling either, but I kind of doubt it. Crystals in this environment are oh. confusing my senses, and yet I feel certain there is something important below. A Hello? Or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. So maybe I'm headed in the right direction? Actually, this kind of looks bougie. Maybe I'm supposed to go in here. Is it like up and in? Oh, maybe. Oh, this looks kind of like important, maybe. <laughs> There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yes, sir, on my way. Okay, yeah, this seems very purposeful here. <laughs> oh, a little alien record now here as well. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I was just gonna be lost in here for a long time. Oh, there's a thing right here. Wow. Yes, please, let me in there. Is this building or can I swim in? I think I gotta get out. <laughs> right, I'm gonna save. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave a beacon right here. Crystal base? I don't know what to call it. Seems good to me. Ooh, cool. Okay. This is so pretty. Holy. Oh my goodness. I love the purple. Holy moly. That's so nice. All right, Alan, on my way. Yeah, so I guess they won't give you a hint as to where it is. Maybe they just kind of expect you to find it. And or maybe I miss some other architect pieces or something. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the, that's the component. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was like a flattened bug. And now I realize this, but yeah, that's the organs. Bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we Cute. need to make a storage. Uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Wow. Alan's learning hope. Nice. <laughs> These guys are so funny. So I can't go like in anywhere else to explore. Okay, well, I will gladly take that. This is so cool. This is so pretty. Only. Let me save. Can I read about that now, actually? Architect constituent parts. The architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. Art is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain animal aspects of the alien corpus, while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into dense network of incredible computational power, the architect brain. No respiration or digestive system appears to be present suggesting a life that is fed entirely by sustained electrical energy and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. Hmm, very interesting. What else did we get in here? Oh yeah, the polycage. That's the strange plant. Exhibits bioluminescence caused by the chemical reaction between light emitting molecule and a particular enzyme. Hmm, interesting. It wouldn't let me cut anything off of it. Maybe I wasn't hitting the right spot though. I'm not sure. Or maybe it has nothing to do with enzyme from the first game. Architect organ, ion cube, ribbon plant, kinda. Oh, you don't even need that much. You don't need whatever that plant is. Okay, cool. Well, actually, I guess the enzyme would be for a cure if we're ever able to find. What was it again? The frozen leviathan or something? I assume that that one's probably a phi since it has to do more so with Sam's story. Oh, right. Okay, now we have vortex torpedo generates a localized gravity distortion. Load this to a vehicle torpedo bay, gas torpedo, cloud of toxic gas, or prawn suit torpedo arm, payload delivery system adapted to fire torpedoes. Very interesting. All right. Is that it in here? I was hoping I could explore some more. <laughs> Back we go. Oh, we've got a call from Alan. We really gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. <laughs> First, you must find the fabrication facility. Oh. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility. So you planned on 
needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical <laughs> facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Hmm, very interesting. I wonder what happened. He's getting a little short with Robin, which usually it's the other way around. I wonder if he did something. Can't even begin to like think what it would even be. He said it was concealed at some depth, so does that mean it goes even further down? Maybe it's somewhere in here, but because of the wording, it makes me think it's even deeper. Okay, let's try and head out of here then for now. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere just outside of what led us in here. I'm curious now about Alan, but I feel like I don't know, it's kind of weird because I still have to continue on with Midas' story and also Sam's story. So it feels a little backwards. Like I don't really know what order I'm supposed to be doing everything in, you know what I mean? Up and out. Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna top up just in case of that guy. I think if I get in here and I don't actually pilot it though, he seems to leave me alone, which is interesting. He really reminds me of a ghost leviathan mixed with something else. I don't know. Like not quite a reaper, but maybe. I feel like it's more similar to the ghost leviathan, just in terms of its whole shape and style of attacking, I guess. All right, we're gonna head in here. <laughs> Oh no. Wait, can I shock you? Oh, that's so nice that you can just do it just like that. Let me just top up a tiny bit. I was kind of thinking maybe this would go down even more, but it looks like maybe just a divot in here instead. I don't know what direction I'm supposed to be going. Maybe I'll just head over this way because it seems kind of empty. Is this where we were before? Let's just keep on heading over. Why are the crystals red now? Is that just my eyes? No, those are red. Is this a whole different area? <laughs> oh god. Oh, actually, wait, maybe. <laughs> wait, this is good because maybe this is where we needed to go. Because we need to find like a fabricator thing, blah, 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 right? Downside is I don't have all of the things in my pocket in order to fabricate the things, which means we're gonna have to make this path all the way back down here. And then I don't know where the fabricator thing is in here either. You, however, see this weird weird fruit loop looking thing and I'd like to scan it. Eclipse plant. Sure. What is this? Is this nickel? Oh, I will gladly take that. Can I scan these ones? Large crystal formation. A dread barrel. Wow. This is kind of cool. That goes down so far. I mean, I think we'll be fine in our sea truck. Can I trail this? Maybe not, right? Usually it will tell you straight up because it's technically crush depth 700. Well, actually, as long as it's not losing repair preparedness when it's not being piloted then technically i should be able to just park it down here as like a very expensive um marker right like if i put this just like that oh it's still getting crushed okay maybe my best bet is really trying to tuck it on this this is technically 681 so this should be fine so i'll repair that some more i know this is like not optimal okay realistically i should just have another beacon but it's because i left orange mod thing over there and I only brought two beacons because I didn't realize how big everything was gonna be. I don't really know what to do about that. We have so much of this now. Maybe I can fill some up in here. And it kind of sucks I have to leave this here though since I literally just got it. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I don't know. But I don't have the materials for a beacon. I can't even make one down here either so I've changed my mind. I'm gonna pick up the greenish area beacon because I don't even know if I'm necessarily gonna need it because it seems like mostly just for material farming right oh sorry i realized as well just now that my window is starting to let in sunlight it's uh maybe 7 30 a.m have i slept yet no but i will sleep after this so let me close my curtain actually just so that i'm not uh accidentally flash banging you i think it would technically be fine to leave the prawn still here anyways it's more so just i'm worried about if i will need it all right we will come back for this area though for sure i imagine that's probably going to be 
be the last thing that we end up doing so I'm not too concerned about it. Wow there's the rest of our truck. It was way easier going backwards this time. Just the fact that we didn't have to get attacked as much on the way back is much appreciated. Though I feel like we now kind of understand a little bit better how to deal with it so that's always good too. I'm gonna save <laughs> most importantly. Home sweet home once again. <laughs> that's quite the excursion. We've got so many things now. Let's go in here and just put all of this in here. I don't even have enough space anymore for this. Holy moly. Okay, I know it's not tight night, but I'm just gonna put it in here for now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of the things for the body into this one so that I don't accidentally lose the materials so that I don't have to make that big trek down there too many times. So I have all of those things right here and it fits perfectly, which is very nice. I kind of wonder if that was the whole point. And I'm gonna put that into my prawn suit for now. I probably wanna have that on my hands once I'm down there, of course. But I'm not sure entirely what order we're doing everything in next time. So it's more so just if I need my pockets free if we end up doing five first, for example. All right, now that we've done that, right, so now we've got all these arms on here. I honestly don't even think we need these things. I feel like the grapple and the drill are perfectly fine for me personally. Maybe the torpedoes would be good, but then I feel like the sea track was doing better with that anyway, so maybe it's just a waste of time to do all that. Especially considering if we need to go even deeper, then it's like, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make the prawn suit MK2. I'm not even entirely sure if we're gonna be able to use it that much. It really just depends how much deeper it ends up letting it go, I guess. But the thing is that if we're going down to that red area to do whatever the fabrication sort of thing was, then we might not even need a prawn suit to be able to go down there to like drill things to get materials because then that would be the end of the game in theory, wouldn't it? I don't know, unless I'm missing something else, I'm not sure. It helps a lot actually, that goes down now till 1100, so a little bit deeper than the sea truck even. Yeah, so that's probably where we'll leave it for today, I think. Another good five hour session by accident. We basically just have the left of Phi to finish, going to Maida's greenhouse, which I'm assuming finishes her storyline, unless if she goes back to her base, but again, that's not too long to do. And then I guess going into the red crystal area to try and find the fabricator base. And then I'm assuming once we fabricate the pieces for Alan, then it'll be kind of like game over. I think out of those, Phi will probably end up taking the longest. I'm not entirely sure how long, because we did kind of explore some things over there, just not in entirety, but we'll just kind of have to see, I guess. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for part seven of Subnautica Below Zero. If you liked and watching, after leave the full playlist thing for this playthrough down in the description box and I'm also showing some down there as well. So I'm really glad with the amount of progress we were able to get done today. I think we ended up doing all of the things that I had kind of set out to do, and it definitely took a little bit longer than I had originally hoped that it would. But honestly, I think most of it was just traveling, so it'll probably not be as long for you guys as usual, of course. I think today was mostly just a lot of backtracking. I'm really glad that we were able to go through to the Purple Crystal area because I feel like that was a lot more fulfilling, I guess, in terms of just exploration. So it was obviously just main story progression and everything like that. But yes, anyways, that is going to be for me tonight, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying so far. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you're liking. It helps me a lot. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.